Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today I will show you how to calculate mean and standard deviation for group data. So, this is a group data. So, this is a frequency with a class size for age and number of fatalities. Right, so we want to know what is the mean of now uh, age fatalities uh, for this data right so to calculate mean for group data we will use this formula x bar equal to summation of f x divided by summation of f right so number of fatalities is frequency and from this uh, frequency data table we don't really know what is the value of x because uh, each class have a class size. So, first step what we need to do is to calculate the value of x. Right? The value of x is a midpoint where we can get the value of midpoint by uh, plus upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2 which is 20 plus 11 divided by 2 so it should be equal to 15.5 and we can calculate for the rest 30 plus 21 divided by 2 it should be equal to 25.5 this is going to be 35.5 45.5 55.5 and this one is 65.5 so uh, for this video I'm going to show you how to use calculator to calculate mean to calculate the summation uh, fx divided by summation of f first what we need to do is by using this calculator fx 570es first we need to click on shift and click on mode then we need to find for statistic SAT STAT right which is this one is number four and we need to turn on the frequency right then the second step is to tap on mode and find STAT which is number three and find one minus VAR which is number one right so the interface in calculator will be like this x and frequency so x value is your midpoint and frequency is f uh, frequency is your number of fatalities so we need to input one by one 15.5 and then equal 25.5 equal 35.5 equal 45.5, 55.5, 5, 65.5. So the, the frequency we need to input according to the frequency table, which is the first one is 80, 1100, 35, sorry, uh, 720, 350, 150, and 50. So this is the frequency value. So, by using this calculator, we can double check our input into the calculator. Right. Once done, we can click on AC. Right. So, to find the value of summation of Fx, right. so we check on shift and click on 1. Then, we need to find SUM, which is sum number 4. So, in this calculator, it will appear summation of x square and summation of x, right? So, summation of fx will represent summation of x in this calculator. We need to click on to equal. So, it will show us the value of summation of x, which is 82375. Divide by summation of f, which is uh, 80 plus 110 
fifty. So it should be equal to two hundred two thousand four hundred and fifty. So it will be equal to eighty two thousand three hundred seventy five divided by two thousand four hundred and fifty. So it should be equal to thirty three point six two. Right. So this is the mean age of number of uh, fatalities. Right. So in another way, we can find the value of mean by clicking on shift one and click on VAR number five, and then we can get the value of mean, which is number two, equal to thirty three point six two two. Right. So this is uh, the way how we calculate mean using calculator. Now I'm going to show you how to calculate standard deviation right standard deviation so the standard deviation formula is summation of fx square minus summation of fx then you square divide by summation of f divide by summation of f minus 1 this one will take square root right so we already uh, we already key in the value of uh, this value into the calculator. So we need to recall the, the summation value. First, we need to find summation of f x square. Click on shift one and find sum number four. And summation of x square in this calculator re is representing summation of f x square. So click number one equal to so three zero four three zero one two point five. The summation of fx, which is equal to eighty two thousand three hundred and seventy three, eighty two thousand three hundred seventy five. Sorry, and we need to square this one. Divide by summation of f is two thousand four hundred fifty. Divide by 2450 minus 1 and then taking a square root for the whole equation so this one should be equal to you no need to calculate this one so we need to click on shift and 1 right and find var which is number 5 and then for the value of standard deviation will be x sigma n minus 1 which is number 4 so check equal it should be equal to 10.5652 right so this is the value of standard deviation so we don't need to calculate manually we just need to input the value of uh, midpoint and frequency from the frequency uh, from the frequency table or from a group data into the calculator and get the answer I think that's all for using calculator to calculate mean and standard deviation and goodbye.